Hello, my beautiful brothers and sisters in Christ. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Um, I wanted to come online and, and show you this. Uh, this was posted April 30th, 2027 from um, Canada Christ. Uh, once saved, always saved, not. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a good, uh, I felt led to share this with you. Uh, you know, Ezekiel 18, 20 through 32. The soul who sins shall die. The son shall not bear the guilt of the father, nor the father bear the guilt of the son. The righteousness of the righteous shall be upon himself, and the wickedness of the wicked shall be upon himself. But if a wicked man turns from all his sins, which he has committed to keep all my statutes, all my statutes, and does what is lawful and right, he shall surely live. He shall not die. None of the transgressions which he has committed shall be remembered against him. Because of the righteousness which he has done, he shall live. Do, uh, do I have any pleasure at all that the wicked should die, says the Lord? Uh, do I have pleasure at all that the wicked should die, says the Lord God, and not that he should turn from his ways and live? But the righteous... But when a righteous man turns away from his righteous, turns when a righteous man turns away from his righteousness and commits iniquity and does according to all the abominations that the wicked man does, shall he live? All the righteousness which he has done shall be not remembered. All the righteousness which he has done shall not be remembered because of the unfaithfulness of which he is guilt is guilty and the sin which he has committed. Because of them shall he die, shall uh, he shall die. Yet you say the way of the Lord is not fair. Hear now, O house of Israel, it is not my way which is fair, and your it is it is not my way which is fair, and your ways are not which are not fair. Uh, let me reread that again. The way of the Lord is not fair. Hear, O now, O Israel, is it not my way which is fair, and your ways which are not fair? When a righteous man turns away from his righteousness, commits iniquity, and dies in it, it is because of the iniquity which he has, uh, be, uh, which he has done that he dies. Again, when a wicked man turns away from his the wickedness which he committed and does. That is lawful and right. He preserves himself alive because he considers and turns away from all the transgressions which he committed. He shall surely live. He shall not die. Yet the houses of Israel says the way of the Lord is not fair. O house of Israel, is it not my ways which are fair and your ways which are not fair? 30. Uh, there, therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel, according everyone according to his ways, says the Lord God. Repent and turn from your transgression, so that your iniquity will not be ru be your ruin. Cast away from you all the transgressions which you have committed, and get yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. For why should you die, O house of Israel? For I have no pleasure in the death of one who dies, says the Lord God. Therefore, turn and live in the message of this. No, it is certainly not my will that any should perish. However, it is also not my will for those who, that, who do not love me. Um, it is also not my will for those who do not love me to reap eternal rewards in my kingdom. I am so I I am as fed up with the it is it is idiocy of man's thoughts and are motivated for, by and that that are man's thoughts that are motivated by pure unadulterated. Uh, let me just reread that one more time. I am is fed up with the idiocy of man's thoughts that are motivated by pure, unadulterated selfishness. Everyone wants to go with to everyone wants to go to heaven, but very few want to be with me and love me for who I am and my ways of righteousness. It is appalling the levels of selfishness and self -idol idolatry have risen. Self, uh, selfishness and self-idolatry have risen. If you want me, come and find me. I am near to the brokenhearted, and by this I mean contrit, uh, I mean contrit for your sins and abominations. My people, stop fooling yourselves. You are deceived. If you believe once saved, always saved, you will stand before me, the book of life and all that I entail. I understand. I understood every scripture. You are so. 
You are deceived if you believe once saved, always saved. Let me just read that again. You are deceived if you believe once saved, always saved. You will not stand before you will stand before me. The book you will stand before me, the book of life and all that I entail. I understood every scripture. Are you so sure you want to put all your eggs in that basket of wickedness? Once saved, always saved? Really? Where in the world you where in the world you live in does that exist? There is no lifetime membership with without pay. Come buy without money and without price. You will buy with your you will buy with your will sacrifice to mine. Please my cho please my children use the intellect I gave you. Your mindset is free, free, free. Well I paid for you with blood. Well I paid for you with blood. Is there not an ounce of integrity within you that you would be like my son David who said I will not offer anything that does not cost me. I will not offer anything that does not cost me. You, ent you s entitled spoiled children. I told you that I would scourge every son. Will you not be scourged? I know that I, I, I know, I know the old saying, have your cake and eating and eating it too. Well, the buck stops here. You cannot eat from the table of demons and from those and from, excuse me, and from the table of the Lord. Choose. Okay, and Jeremiah, and actually I was just reading, thinking about Psalm 51 as well. Uh, Jeremiah 2, and there's some scriptures as well. Seek and find me, and you, you know, Psalm 51, 23. Um, Galatians 6, 7, Romans 24. I'll post this in the description so you all have it as well. But I wanted to share you with that. Um, I'll make sure I post that. Actually, let me just do this real quick so I can... Um, copy it and paste it <laughs> in the description box um it's just it's 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 an important this is why god's you can't you know you need to choose one uh master you can't serve two you know um it's very sad right where the one saved always saved thinks that they're just covered in the blood and they can do the heck what they want afterwards it's really sad it really is i um, mean it breaks my heart as well i pray for you you guys have i've already been um basically uh, people have already like torn and, and 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 debated scripture with me i'm like if you guys want to really want to continue in your filth you guys are by all means can uh you have your free will to choose but i wanted to share with you as well a few uh prayers as well that i've posted um and a few other things dear god i pray for your encouragement to light my path today i humbly ask you for a renewal of hope within me forgive me for um, and if you guys want to please bow your heads while I do this as well um, and just listen and, and it, this will be for you guys as well. Lord, please let this shine upon them as well. Dear God, I pray for your encouragement to light my path today. I humbly ask for a renewal of my hope, for a renewal of hope within me. Forgive me for my times of doubt and for getting caught up in self-pity. I know that it is not of you. Lord, I pray for someone to help today. Put them before me and help and, and help me to make a difference in their life. I pray about my impatience and anxiety. Oh Lord, calm me down, steady me. Guide, uh, please guide every step I take and every decision I must keep. I must, excuse me, every decision I must make today. Watch over me and keep me from harm. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, there's a prayer also. Uh, Proverbs 20, or excuse me, Proverbs 12, 18. The words of the reckless pierce like swords. But the tongue of the wise brings healing. Father, I do not wish to be like someone, some others who use their words like sharp swords, cutting and wounding the people around them. I do not want to spread lies, rumors, or gossip. I pray that my words should be not be should or excuse me. I pray that my words would be healing, um, not hurting. I want to speak words that are seasoned with salt and full of grace. Words that give life and not take not, not take it. I want my words to be filled with truth and light. I know that this would take self-control. I know that this will take self-control and obedience on my part. I pray that you would renew my mind, strengthen my spirit, and help me live out Proverbs 12:18 in my life. 
Father, use me to speak words, uh, soothing words of kindness and comfort. Use me to speak uplifting words of encouragement. Use me to speak words of love and peace. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, Matthew 6, 34. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day, each day has enough trouble of its own. Father, sometimes I become exhausted, weary, and overwhelmed wor with wor uh, overwhelmed with worry, stress, and anxiety for my future. For the future, I pray Matthew six thirty four over my life. I do not want to worry or be anxious about tomorrow, but instead I want to place my trust in you. You entirely each you you entirely each and every day. I want to place my trust in you entirely each and every day. Father, help me to remember in times. <laughs> Um, in times of need, that you are always been, you have always been faithful, to, and to provide in any and every situation or challenge. Help me remember that your plans to prosper me, and never to harm me, are to to prosper me and never to harm me. Father, teach me to meet every day. Father, teach me and meet to meet each days of trouble as they come with. Day's trouble. Uh, let me just reread that again. Father, teach me to meet each day's troubles as they come with grace, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. I know your grace is sufficient. You will help me overcome whatever this life may bring. You are so good to me, and I find peace and knowing and hope in knowing you will never abandon me. There is no need to worry about tomorrow. I know you will meet me there. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, you know, and again, please pray how to pray and praise, repent, ask and yield. I've posted this in my last video. This is what pray stands for as well. Praise who he is and what he has done. Repent of sins I've committed and commands I have neglected. Um, ask for the needs of others, for my needs as well, or for your needs, excuse me. Yield uh, my will to God's will, uh, my agenda to God's agenda for me. Um, again, I will post this on my Facebook in the description, um, as well as my Instagram and everything. You know, Romans 3, 23, for all have sinned and come short before the glory of God. For all the wages, Romans 6, 23, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 5, 8, but God commendeth his love towards us that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 10, 13, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Romans 10, 19, If thou shalt, con excuse me, if, that's, if that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus Christ, and believe with all thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession, with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Okay, um, and I, so this was on a, um, I forget what it was, um, uh, some other, uh, what was it? Um, prophecy four four four. So I just wanted to copy it and paste it. Uh, Lord says, "Listen to unto me, as nations plan to ease their lockdowns, a new variant of pestilence will emerge and spread in the entire world. Uh, let people be warned and per be prepared. I am coming soon to take my bride home soon. Amen." Uh, and uh, Kirian Giddon just had a recent video. Of of um, please check it out. She's an amazing sister and uh, uh just very very um she's definitely a huge inspiration to watch as well. I love you, sister. Hope you got you are having a great day. Um and the devil is a liar. I saw you a recent video. He definitely is trying to distract many people as well as myself um, from things that you know uh, we should be doing and what the things we should be saying. He's trying to keep our mind away from uh, thinking what God wants us to think. Or to distract us from it. Um, hallelujah. Amen. Uh, my relationship with with God is my number one focus. I know that if I take care of that, God will take care of everything else. Proverbs 3, 5, 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. You know, and takes faith takes effort. You know, it really does. The effort to trust that God is for those who are willing to have faith in him. You know, through the good and the bad, the seen and the unseen. You know, a man asked God, um, Why do you not fulfill my wishes if you are everywhere? 
God replied, I am like Wi-Fi, my child. I am ever I'm I am available everywhere, but you need to connect with me with the correct password. And the password is faith. Faith works and efforts win. Okay. Um so I I love you guys. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and um we'll talk soon. I hope you guys um uh, Take this to prayer and um, all of that. And I will post a link in the description because, again, we are not one saved. Are we saved? Please stay in repentance and stay in prayer and stay in the word and your focus on God. Jesus is coming soon. Hallelujah. Amen. Holy, holy, holy is his name and worthy is he to be praised. Amen. Amen and amen.